Thank you for inviting me to join you today. I'm so sorry I can't be there in person, but I hope you'll allow me to say a few words, albeit virtually. Suicide prevention is an issue which I hold very close to my heart, and I'm delighted that today's summit is being held here in the UK for the first time. Sadly, I have seen and felt the impact of suicide firsthand. My first call out as a pilot for the East Anglia Air Ambulance was to a suicide. My memory of that call out is as clear as if it was yesterday. Devastatingly, 700,000 people die by suicide across the world every year, and 6,000 of those are in the UK. The evidence suggests that mental ill health is a more pressing problem than ever before. One in five of us will experience suicidal thoughts over our lifetime. That is why this year's summit is so important. And by coming together today, I hope that you are able to share best practice and discuss how support and attention can be mobilized across the globe. Initiatives such as the Zero Suicide Alliance help highlight how we can all support suicide awareness and prevention. Nearly 2.7 million people have accessed its suicide prevention training. Here in Liverpool, Mersey Care NHS Foundation Trust is actively working to seek out new ways to prevent mental health crises. I have visited many suicide prevention and support services over the years, including the innovative Life Rooms in Liverpool back in 2017, and more recently, James's Place Sanctuaries, which also began life here and are now being rolled out across the country. I'm immensely proud of the UK's role in helping advance suicide prevention techniques, which are shared around the world. We're all extremely grateful for your commitment to such an important cause. And I hope this summit, with all the ideas and expertise within it, can make real strides towards eliminating suicide. Thank you.